right, guys. So I had a guy message back on one of my ISO posts saying he was looking to sell his collection. Um, he said he was offered $2,500 for in the past, but a guy wanted him to drive three hours to pick it up, too. I mean, to drop it off. Didn't work. Didn't work for him. So he told me he, he would sell to me for $2,500. Sent some photos. I didn't quite know everything that was there because the photos weren't the best, but I paid it. Went and picked it up, and oh my god, guys, it's worth it. Let me go through some of it now for you. Just to show you what it looks like all together, all of those are fold. Fold. Filled. Jeez, I'm tired. First of all, I'll go over this a little bit. Um, some miscellaneous in here, a couple Atari Hot Wheels, but most of this stuff is just manuals. Some of the manuals for the stuff that's in here, but there's also extra manuals, miscellaneous manuals. There's an, a Nintendo Power. I mean, this is just filled to the brim with manuals and stuff like that. So that's always a cool little bucket to have. All right, so let's go over this box. These are all complete in box games. Uh, some filler stuff, not too shabby, but not too great. Wizard and Warriors, Fox Xanadu, Golf, Rumble Manus, Clax. Golden Medal Challenge, I think, actually is not bad. Uh, cleaning Kits. Tetris 2, which the cart's somewhere else. Uh, you'll notice that a lot. And yes, cleaning kit. There's a Super Nintendo cleaning kit in here too as well. Kickle Cubicle. Snake Rattle and Roll. Tetris 2 on Ness. Tetris on Ness. Really clean box on some of these. We have a massive bucket of Game Boy games. Better ones being two copies of Pokemon Pinball and Zelda. A lot of like five to ten dollar things in here some filler tamagotchi bugs bunny uh daffy duck foul play more combat 3 uh james bond super mario bros deluxe stuff like that and the rest of it is mostly filler but not bad to have a bucket full of game boy games then i'm going to show you this top layer that i'm going to remove it to get to the bottom layer uh some of the more notable ones here let's see I I stack the more notable ones on the bottom. I think I did. Uh, Last Starfighter and Guardian Legend isn't bad. Oh, here's a good one. Shatterhand. Really clean label. Uh, Time Lord, Starship Hector, Tombs and Treasures, not bad. Untouchables is another good one. And most of these labels are really clean labels, too. Super C. Uh, Romans of Three Kingdoms is the manual. Shadow Ninja is another solid title with another really clean label. And a lot of these have manuals. This is cool. Uh, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt with a Zelda back. <laughs> wow and random. Let me remove this top layer, guys, and let you see what's below. Believe it or not, the bottom layer is even better. We have Mega Man 1 through 6 there. We have Metroid with manual. There's another copy of Metroid in here. Uh, Rampage, Ninja Gun 2... We have Punch Out. We have, there's the other copy of Rampage, I mean, uh, Metroid. MC Kids isn't bad. We have, let's see, Lolo 3, which is a solid title. Once again, a really clean label. Popeye. So, some really solid loose NES games. All right, guys, more loose NES games. Uh, Godzilla. Joshua, Savior, not bad. Kid Icarus. I have Ghosts and Goblins, Friday the 13th. Final Fantasy. Let's see. Donkey Kong Classics. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde's not bad. Dig Dug 2 is not bad. One of the few games that has label damage. Gyromite. Clash of Demon Heads, not bad. Castlevania. Battletoads. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. This does have a little chunk in there. There. Rescue Rangers with manual. Let's see. Donkey Kong Jr. Adventure Island. Double Dragon. Donkey Kong 3. Casino Kid. Let's see. Got some Rad Racer there. Just tons of solid titles. Castlevania 2. Double Dragon 3. Double Dragon, Back to the Future, Back to the Future, some really solid loose NES games, not a ton of filler. 
All right, in this box is kind of a random mix. We have three or four first party controllers, two wave birds and a receivers, a zapper, power cord, two Sega Dreamcast controllers, a white PS1, PS2 controller, saddle switch controller, uh, bongos. We have a Game Boy Advance, Glacier Clear, uh, Dark Hero Warriors Rock, Grudge Warriors, Final Fight, and a Zelda Repro called Parallel Worlds. Kind of cool label there. These are some filler NES titles. Uh, Wrath of the Black Man and Zelda's Revenge being some notable ones there. And here we have some filler SNES stuff. Then we have Donkey Konga, Donkey Jungle Beats. This is Mario Kart Wii. NBA Jam and DDR. We have Perfect Dark, Turok 3, Cruising USA, Wave Bird, I mean Rave Race, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Gex 64, NBA Jam, uh, Star Wars Racer, Asteroids, Duke Nukem, World Tour, Turok 2, Mission Impossible, Fighter of Destiny, Rush San Francisco, and 1080. Just a whole miscellaneous box. So basically when I went there, there was a lot of stuff that wasn't in the photos. And you're just like, okay, this is tossed in, this is tossed in, this is free, this is free. And this was just a box of filled up free stuff. I think he may have charged me an extra... 20 bucks for this box which was insane but time to go over the more all right time to go over this tote we have a teal game boy color uh desert falcon and atari sealed some filler nes stuff here a little bit more filler nes stuff there nothing too crazy but nothing too bad we have some gba games lord of the rings monster truck uh, this is two more zelda repro cartridges uh, F.A. Hornet, BattleBots, Attack and the Power of Juju, Incredible Hulk, uh, Road Riot, we have Frogger's Adventures that's sealed, uh, Pitfall and Greatest Hits, NES Ultimate Remix, Zelda Ocarina of Time, Trick Style on Dreamcast, Sega Classics, Mario Kart DS, Mario vs. Donkey Kong Land, Mario Kart DS, Link Between Worlds, and Pro Skater. And then we have some solid NES box games. Uh, Super Mario Bros. is real nice. DuckTales, Zelda, Castlevania 3, Super Mario Bros. 3, 1942 and 1943, Karate Champ, POW, Commando, Star Voyager, Winter Games, TMNT, Link, uh, Kirby's Adventure, and Ninja Gaiden. We have All Pro Basketball, Gauntlet 2, Bible Adventures, which is a really rough box, uh, Birthday Blowout, Wall Street Kid, Super Spike B-Ball, Tiger Heli, Infiltrator, Base Load 3, Random GameCube and PS PlayStation stuff, Roger Clemens MVP Baseball, Techno NBA, Bayou Billy, and RBA Baseball. So, oh, and there's two random game gears, games in this tote, uh, Garfield Caught in the Act, and NBA Jam. So, on to the next tote, guys. This tote I'm not really going to get into. It is a ton of Atari stuff. There is a 2600 and a 7800 in here. Probably 100 games, 20, 30 box games, but just not going to go through all the Atari stuff. But this tote is included as well. This is another really solid, solid, solid tote. Uh, we have the box for Robocop. We have the cart over in the other box. So, a lot of this stuff spaced out. Diddy Kong Racing, Ninja Gaiden, Mortal Kombat 4, Armor Core 3, just some strategy guides. We have a top loader. It does have the dog bone with it in here. We have N64th expansion. There's a gold N64 controller in here. A couple PS1 games. Uh, we have Mario Kart 64. The box is in another box that is complete. We have, this is just a custom... Sticker job on a Game Boy Advance SP. Some more random titles in here. Uh, we have a control deck. That is just the box. And we have an action set beneath it. That is just the box as well. And we have a complete in box Sega Genesis. It's the Sonic Spinball variation in really clean shape. We have an NES Advantage in here. Uh, some more controllers. Steel Nintendo Power demo. Just a, a ton more stuff. And on to the next tote, guys. All right, in the next tote, some more box stuff. There's the box for Mario Kart 64. 
Uh, some Comic Box Sega games, Road Rash, Global Gladiators, and Mortal Kombat being the better ones. Some more box stuff. We have Illusion of Gaia. Oh, we have Yoshi's Cookie, Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario 2. We have a Dreamcast. We have Nintendo Powers, including the last one, which is sealed. I didn't know this went for as much as it did. Be on the lookout for that. That's that's over 100. Uh, but some more Nintendo Powers. Most like $10 issues. Nothing too crazy in those. And then here we have some miscellaneous. We do have a box only for Maximum Carnage. It's seen better days. We have Phantom Hourglass, which is a better one. This is sealed, but it's got a tear in the seal. Uh, cool spot. And just some random filler style stuff. Complete box. Uh, Nightmare Creatures, Wetrex, Tess, Get From Mars, Asterix. We have uh, Majora's Mask 3D, Sonic the Hedgehog. There's more Atari games at the bottom there and some Sega games. Mostly filler stuff. Uh, but on to the last tote now, guys. All right, this tote is mostly filler, so I'm not going to dive super into it right now. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the better stuff that's on top. NES box, open box. Oh, we have Metroid, Goldeneye, Crash, a bunch of Super Nintendo complete box sports titles. Oh, we have Scooby Doo on Street on GameCube, Hardball 5, uh, some Jurassic Park on uh, Genesis, Red Rumble Boxing on Dreamcast, Chicken Run on Dreamcast. As you can see, a lot of 10 to 15 dollar titles. The one and only Master System game, Zillion. I wanted to, I don't have the time to go through that bat right now, that batch. I wanted to show you guys this collection before I start selling stuff off. The time of recording this is the 127 weekend sale. It's the world's largest art sale, so it takes up a lot of time. And I'm going to start selling stuff while buying stuff, but I wanted to show you guys this stuff. But here's probably another 100 filler titles. Like I said, a lot of 10 to $15 stuff. So once again, guys, paid 26 26 70 for everything. Uh, when it comes to price charting value, it's around 12000 Oh, this is in here too. I don't think it's Nintendo branded, but a little light hang thing. Super awesome. I'm going to hang that in the game room. But yeah, around $12,000 and stuff for just under 3000 So absolutely amazing deal, guys. They're out there. You just got to stay patient. But once again, sorry, this is kind of rushed and hurried. I already have a few people coming to buy stuff, and I need to get some of it moving while I'm also doing the yard sales this weekend, so I apologize, guys, but it's an amazing collection. I, I had to make sure I showed you guys. Stay tuned for more.